Hello everyone, Russ Ride here and welcome back to the channel. So, you got your airport permit in the mail. What do you do with it now? Do you just peel the back off and stick it on the windshield? Or maybe there's a better idea. I have an idea to laminate it and that way then you can tape it in place or even use a suction cup and take it down when you're not using it. Because as you know, you're only supposed to have it up when you're at the airport. So before you can do that, there's a couple things you need to do. You can see my stickers are already high enough up uh, because I've already made room. But what you may need to do is take your stickers off of the car and go ahead and clean this entire area. Taking your airport permit, just place it up into the window where you can see there's enough room. Get out and make sure that you can see it from the outside because it's not worth a ticket at the airport um, for messing that up. Also be careful, um, your dash may go down inside, so if you let go of this, it may go inside your dash, and laminating it is gonna help fix that. All right, everyone, we're ready to get started. You've got your stickers back in place, leaving enough room for the permit, and then what we're gonna do now is go laminate it. Now just go ahead and take your laminator. You'll wanna plug it in and let it warm up for several minutes, like three to four. This happens to be a Scotch brand, and uh, it's very sturdy. We'll just go ahead and slide this in. Gently, of course. And this thing heats up and seals the laminating sheet to the decal. And you'll see how clear it is. And it's very strong as well. So what can you do if you don't have a laminator? We'll just go to a UPS store or another location like that and just pay the couple dollars and they can laminate it for you. All right, good job everyone. We've laminated it now and now it's time to fit it back inside your vehicle. So go ahead and grab the laminated airport decal that you can see right here. You're gonna see it's very long and what you wanna do is put it up in your dash pushing it down in the front window until it stops. You will notice that your dash, mine happens to go down about two inches. And that's important. We wanna have something to hold it in the front and then we're gonna tape it on the back of the sticker. So again, you just measure and I have about maybe eight inches. And I already know the spacing. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim around the edge. And we'll take off a few inches there. So you can see what it looks like. There's a little bit of space. We'll go ahead and put it back up here. Oops, looks like I need to take off a couple inches more, which is no problem. Obviously don't cut off too much. about another three quarters of an inch. You can see you'll encounter resistance. Oh, looks like I pushed harder and it went in further. So actually right in there is about right. So you can see how it fits right below your sticker. And then I keep some tape in my glove box. It's a minor thing. All you do is take a little piece off, stick it to the back of the placard and then you'll put it up in your windshield. Like so. And then just tape it in place. You can see where the dash goes inside, that holds it from the bottom. The little bit of piece of tape holds it from the top and that'll stay secure. It's very easy to do. If I get a long ride in the morning, generally I know that's the airport, so I may put it in right then or wait till I get to where I'm picking up the passenger and when I see suitcases after loading them while the map is loading, I just reach over, put it in, tape it up. It's very simple. Here's an idea. What if you laminate your stickers, your trade dress, as well as the airport permit? Then you could either get a suction cup on your windshield and hook it in place and still have it uh, be connected down the front of the dash that way when you're done driving for the day, you could just unhook the whole thing. For me, I found that this works well for me. I do leave my stickers on all the time. I know um, other YouTubers have given advice about taking it off, which for valid reasons. Um, 
but I do laminate my parking permit and put it up uh, when I'm at the airport because again, you do not want to risk tickets and fines um, at Los Angeles airport or any other airport where they do require a permit. And there you have it. You can see the airport parking permit is in place and laminated and visible for all your passengers to see as well as the airport police. Do give me feedback in the comments below if you find this useful or if you have another tip on how to display that permit. And until I see you again in my next video, let's make it happen.